the Capitol Plaza expectant thousands gathered for hours before the ceremony to see the greatest event in the life of the nation, the swearing in of a new president. Hoover's emerged smiling and greeted the new first lady like an old friend, chatting for a few moments. Then Mr. Hoover entered the car for his last ride as president, taking his place next to Mr. Roosevelt and sharing his blanket. Then the historic trip began, the incoming and outgoing presidents riding side by side. I, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. This is preeminently the time to speak the truth, the whole truth, frankly, and boldly, nor need we shrink from honestly facing conditions in our country today. This great nation will endure as it has endured, will revive and will prosper. There must be a strict supervision of all banking and credits and investments. There must be an end to speculation with other people's money. And there must be provision for an adequate but sound currency.